I am the apron girl. That is, look at my car and you'll know who I am. I'm Mary Keating and I absolutely love art. I came from a background from Pittsburgh and I grew up in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I knew him. We, we would joke around. We would run in his studio on our way to school and shove people into his studio as a joke. Did you know? Did you know that it's all right to wonder? Andy Warhol was a neighbor. His name was Warhola, and we knew him really well. And that's how I really got started in art. I was surrounded by it. I started out as a black and white photographer and oil paint and acrylics. But when I came to Sawdust, I toured the festival and decided that I would try something that I thought would be more fun and something no one else was doing and that was working in fabrics and aprons. And so I decided to make aprons that were both functional and artistic. The sewing is the tedious part and no one really enjoys sewing, but we, to be in the Sawdust Festival, you have to do your own work. I was very fortunate to have some friends who gave me fabric from the 90s, cotton fabric. I collect vintage doilies, dresser scarves, tea towels. I have a stash of vintage buttons from all over the world. Some are hand painted or glass. I use French seams. I don't take shortcuts. And my dresses are as nice on the inside as they are on the outside. They were designed to be worn for many years and passed down. I've exhibited at the Sawdust Festival for the past 10 years. Right now, we're having Winter Fantasy, and I, I'm not exhibiting during the Winter Fantasy, but I'm here every summer. The Sawdust Festival makes people really happy. Patty of Patty's People. Patty's been here from the beginning. Almost 39 years. <laughs> That's been there since 1980. <laughs> I'm fortunate because I can work down here, so I have an assistant so he can do stuff for my customers while I'm sitting here making, in this case, dogs. It's fun. This is a fun booth. My name is Carmen Gundelach. I'm um, an artist here at the Sardas, I'm, I do sewing. My art is sewing. I um, met Mary here at the Sardas, like artist. Every year here is a lottery, so we were signing up for the show. I was afraid, so and I told her, what can I do if I don't do the show? Can do the show, and she told me, oh, just ask me, we can share a booth. And uh, really it happened. I didn't get a booth this year, and so we shared one year in the summer a booth together in the winter and the winter show, and it was amazing. She's such a nice person. I was really lucky that I could share with her the one year, and so I could do the show. This is one of the most popular classes that we have at Sawdust, the pot throwing, where children or adults can actually throw a pot on a wheel. And it's... Uh, it's really a lot of fun. Look at this. It's adorable. I have a Mary story that's great. My window was ajar and my cat escaped and I went and I was panic stricken so I'm running through the sawdust telling everybody to keep an eye out for a cat. Mary goes, oh, I'll find it. And I went, okay. Well, uh, she did tune in psychically to where that cat was and just headed in that direction and found the cat a block away under a yucca plant. I'll never forget that. And she just zoned into it. She's found, she's a cat whisperer. She's <laughs>
I have five brothers and three sisters, and I'm in the middle, upper middle. And I had to learn how to work together in a, in a group. And so I guess when I came here, I listened a lot, and I just tried to blend into a big, a larger group. About four years ago, our art director asked me if I could make anything out of a clothespin, a, a doll, a clothespin doll. And I said, why certainly, because I remembered in my childhood, I think my mother used to let us make things out of clothespins and give us scraps of fabric and markers. And so I came up with little, dressing up little clothespin dolls with pipe cleaners wrapped around for arms and and then I would go into the art spot with an array of recyclables. Uh, could be anything from the eucalyptus pods, uh, dried leaves, flowers, anything. And have them on the table and let the children use their imagination. And of course I would make up some samples and I would try to make them, make them kind of bizarre and I would never make them I would never try to make them perfect because I, did, I wanted them children to look at it as fun, not as work. Art can solve a lot of problems. It can solve a lot of children's problems, worldly problems. Art brings us all together as a community. You can't hold it, you must share it. And I just really enjoy sharing everything I do. And you can't hide it. If you, if you have artistic ability, if you don't let it out, what, what else can you do? I mean, it's, it's a release of joy. Art is beautiful.